slowly. This is it. Can you see it's very neat? Thank you for staying by. Thank you. I have not attached it. Can you see? So lovely. Thank you. Subscribe to my YouTube channel. Thank you. God bless. Hello, everyone. You are welcome to my channel. Today, I will be treating the auto gilly, full run auto gilly. So, this is the Angao Ashoki I'll be using today. And this is the length. I'll be using three of these. I'll be using three of these. This is one bundle. One, two, three. I'll be using the three for the style. I want to do full round auto gilly. So first of all, I will have to do. I'll be doing the base. The base for the gilly. So for me to get the base, I'll be using twenty inches for the base. That twenty inches I'll be cutting to four places. Twenty inches. And the width is uh, the normal width is six. This one is almost seven, but some are six, six point five, six. This one is almost seven. So I'll be using 20, 20 inches. This this piece is into four places. Twenty pieces, twenty inches. So I'll be using twenty one because of this place. 20 and a half. Let me take 20 and a half. I'll be, I'll be cut this one to 20 and a half because that place is, is fold, folded already. So I'll be cutting to four places. Don't forget I cut 21 and a half. But for this one, because one side is yet to be fold, I'll be cutting 21 inches because I will have to take half, in, half inside and half inside too at this edge so this one will be 21 inches okay it's already 21 let me see 21 and a half because i have to take it in i'll be cutting to four places enjoy you stay to the end of this video so that you can understand and see the 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 products I'm I'm trying to bring out the design I'm trying to bring out this is the third one so I will have to take another one to to make the fourth one because the base supposed to be four you'll be using one to pleat then the other one the other three for the covering of our hair. So I'll be using this one. Since this one is fold, I will use this. Okay. So I will use this. This place is folded already. I fold that place already. So the main this side. So I will have to cut this one equally. It will be equal for the base for the base now so this is the four pieces i need for the base and this one is very important the vacuum the vacuum is important in auto daily so it's like plaster 
it's very important so we am I going to attach it I'm going to use it on the base that is the foundation of uh, the goodie so the remaining pieces I cut now I'll be using that one for the vacuum I'll be using this one for the vacuum so I'll be cutting into place into two places And we have to cut it into two. I will fold like this. Then put my vacuum there. So I will show you as I go on. So let's go to the machine now. So this is it. I have drawn it. So the next thing is to start plating. To start plating. We start plating. So we first hold this one inside with half inches. Then we sew, which will represent the first pleat. Make sure your hand is straight. You can use your feet to pull it down. You can use your pain. I'm taking half inches. You can use pain to pull inside. To pull it down. In the pleats, so we now bend. Hope you can see it. We bend it on top of each other, not that on top, at least a little bit of space will be available. You have to leave. You can see what you are doing. If you can see what I'm doing, that will be fine. And if not, let me know. Just drop it on comment box. Maybe when next I'll be doing it, I will be able to adjust my camera. So you hold it down. Start sewing. This is how to take your plate. Bend it a little bit. Take your plate. So you can take it up to four or five please depends on how you like it let me take another one you fold just like half inch 
just calculate it. You fold like this, and you now take it to the machine. And don't forget, you can use hand to do all these things I'm doing. In my next video, or if if you ask me, I will use hand for you to do everything I'm doing. I will use hand needle. I do use hand needle. This place is high. This place is high. So, I have taken the plates. One, two, three, four, five. So, I'm using five plates. You can take as many as you want. So now, the next thing is to take the, the vacuum and do and do what we are going to use to pin it together. This is the gilet now. It is a form of gilet, huh? So this is how we are going to come about that. If we take our the pieces we want to use for it, should not be too long. Can you see? It's sticky. is how I'm going to do it. You close this one, put it in. So together. Take the measurement if you want it straight like this or like this, but I prefer to have it like this. Don't forget, you are going to join this one to this side. So you leave one side. I'm leaving this side. This side is, is more thicker. So you put it at the center. You sew it down. And you now take the, the fabric, you now run stitches on it, you use this to hold it down, okay, let me use it, let me use this one. Cut away all this excess thread, cut them away. And at this point, because of the pleats, this place 
might be too thick for machine to go on top you can easily use your hand here yeah? use your hand needle well let me try to see if you can use your hand needle to do it to press it down or i take it like this since i'm having excess i will face it like this then i will now sew But it will be too thick for the machine to go. If it's not going, I will use my hand. You have to do it gently, not to break your, your machine maybe. You do it gently. accomplish so we go to the next side to fix the next side that we used to clip it at the back so we cut like two inches away or one and a half away For us to get the right fixing, we have to be sure of what, of how to place this uh, vacuum. So, I want this place to be down. I want this design to be visible up. So, I'll be using this place. I'll be using it like this. Then you now sew it down. I'm trying to this, this is so is stiff because of the pleating is hard to move. This is the base. This is where our plate is going to stand. This is the base. This is it. Before we now put the plate and the fan. This is the base. You can use this for any type of auto -gilly. This is the first foundation for any auto -gilly. 
This is the first foundation, just like scarf. So this is the base, the base, the foundation of the of auto healing. This is how we are going to roll it. This is the back. is it now for the pleat I'll be cutting 20 for the pleat don't forget the length for our for the base is 21 and after sewing and everything it will come to 19 more 19 and a half so i'll be cutting 21 because i'll be holding i'll be hemming this place at least half inches and the other one half inches so i will use 21 so after sewing it might reduce to 20. i will cut like three and the second one will be a little bit longer than the first one the second one will be longer than the first one. That will be 20. Because I want the plate to be fuller. It will be 23 for the second one. Now let me use 22 for the second one. 22 and a half. Adding the same allowance. I'm cutting three. So I will take the remaining one here. I can use that one to be 19 because I want it to be. Okay, let me cut. Let me cut it more longer than the other one. I will show you. So, hope you are seeing what I'm doing because this place is here. I have to leave some space there. I'm going to leave like one inches for seam. So this one will now remain for my pleat. I will use this one for pleat. So let me take it to the machine and join and join. After joining the three pieces to get the pleat, this is the result. This one is 19, 21, 23. So I will start with the pleat now. Let me start with the smallest part of it. You take your needle and thread. You take almost one inch. You fold it one inch, one inch. Just try to calculate it by yourself. One inch. Then you now pleat. Put another one on top of it. On top. One inch on top of it, directly on top of it. Then you now take your needle to hold it down. You hold the two down.
just like you're running stitches you leave a reasonable space this one is temporary stitches you hold down should come on on each other on top of each other hope you are enjoying what i'm doing please subscribe to my channel can you subscribe to my channel so that's how we i'll be able to Continue with what I'm doing. I need you to subscribe, share to your loved ones. Okay. I'm going to do this one like that. Let me call it red. This is how you are going to do your pleating. Your pleats on top of the ah, uh, on top of the this. Not all days. So you tie again. Please wash to the end so that you can see the production that we are. How it will look like. So the next pleat, the next layer, which is the last one. Make sure you gather, you calculate it very well. I'm taking my time to shoot this video because I want you to get it very well. I want you to fully under, to understand it fully. 
you want to wash it. I'll put another one on top. Let me make it too. If you cannot handle it too, you do it one, one, one after the other. But I can handle the two. The last one I did is three. Three, three together. Let me hold this one firm. Let me hold it firmly. Again, down. You can take it from the center. You can take it from the center. Break it out here again. Should be on top of each other. Can you see? Make sure the plates they are together, they have the same length.
Thank you for watching. I have to take it step by step so that you can understand. I want you to grab every bit of it. I want to show you every bit of it. It's going to use long needle. Make sure they are on each other. I deliver to any part of the world if you want me to do your auto gallery for you I will drop my contact in the description please do what to call me or send me an email or comment at the box the comment box supply to all parts of the world anywhere you want us to deliver your auto gate for you you give us the style everything you want to supply for you so this is the base the base now this is the plate I just finished I want to put it on the base to see, I want you to see the way it will look like. Can you see? This is round style. Before we put the fan supposing we are doing full round I will add more plate to it up I will add more plate to it so that it will be higher but as it is now so people prefer it like this moderate moderate so I will attach the plate to the base now. So we are going to attach the plate to the base. So we turn it like this. This is 19, 21, 23. We look for the center. We look for the center then and I start to attach but note this is the back this is the front so we attach make sure they are of equal length at least try to get the center now 
we are going to cut the we are going to pleat the fan on top of the pleat so the longer the material we are using the better so i want to take the measurements of this Fifty two. So let me go. So this is the way we are going to plate it. You start from here, you bend a little. You bend. You put your plate. All the bits, or we can do it this way. I put the thread, we hold it here. I pull down, so we come up. The second one will be on top of it. Then I take another plate. See, it's coming down like this. And you take another plate. Then we plate again. You see, let me pleat and we take it twice. For the plates to hold very well. Then again we plate. See the shield that is giving us. The fan is coming out. Can you see the fan? It's coming out. So you hold it very well. The shape is coming out. You see the fun is coming out.
Can you see the fan? So the sheep is coming out. So this is the way it's going to look, look like. This is the finish, the end product. Very lovely. Kindly subscribe to my YouTube channel.